Slowly through three and off of four. Here we go. Green flag at Eldora. Well, Robert Ballou wasting no time. John Stambro slides up to the cushion. Three wide for fourth up at turn number two. Ballou, your leader down the back stretch. Ballou already flexing his muscles. A 25 car length lead over John Stambro down the back stretch. Thomas Messer all starting to come to life in the fifth slot looking for fourth. Here comes Chase Stockett on the bottom of the track, Dylan. Well, through five la or seven laps, Robert Ballou is in his own zip code. No one even near the Rockland, California native. He is slicing through lap cars like a hot knife through butter. Robert Ballou continues to hammer on the top side of the Eldora Speedway. And right now, Dylan, lap traffic is heavy in front of him. He's got two cars. How's he going to handle this? He's got a lift into turn number three, take a different line into three. Landon Simon not quite sure where he wants to go. Ballou is backed out. Boy, he's got to be careful. Simon crosses over in front of him, and Ballou dives to the bottom into turn one, makes the slide job stick, and Ballou puts Landon Simon a lap down. We're halfway home in the USAC Amazon National Sprint Car main event. Battle for fourth. Oh, contact between Justin Grant and Meserol. Grant's in the fence in three and four. Here comes Stockin. Boy, what a great job to move around the parked car of Justin Grant. Ballou blows by him on the outside. Well, Robert Ballou is a man on a mission right now, Dylan. Absolutely hammering the top shelf of the Eldora Speedway. One handful of laps remaining, five to go. And it's so similar, and we go yellow, 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 yellow. Back to green, 23 laps complete. Good night again to the bottom. Stambro back around the outside, bringing Meserol with him this time. And Thomas Meserol follows John Stambro right around, and again, even playing field with six to go. Robert Ballou, that pace still continues to quicken. He's got eight car lengths at the line. Down to the bottom, slide job. He's got him in two, but Meserol crosses him up. Side by side, down the back stretch, they go into turn three, Dylan. Meserol on the inside, trying to fight back for the bottom step on the podium, squeezes Leary up top, and then pinches him off coming off before, but Leary doesn't budge. Heads back to the inside to one, throws up another big slide job for the third spot. Oh my, it's getting good for the third spot. CJ Leary and Thomas Meserol. Leary's got him as we come to three to go. Ballou headed down the back straightaway. No lap cars in his path. Well, he's got Darren Clayton in front of him, but he's around the bottom. Here comes the white flag. Half a mile to go for Robert Ballou as he heads into turn number one. Stambro in second, Leary third, and equal distance separating the two of them. Off of turn two, down the back straightaway and into turn number three, looking for his fourth win of 2015. Here it is, off of turn number four. Robert Ballou, your night one winner at Eldora set for the green flag in tonight's World of Outlaws main event. We are underway at Eldora. Into turn one. Kerry Madsen on the top of the lead. Battle for second. Avery to the inside of shots. Can't make the move there. Back underway. Out of turn four, Madsen gets the lead back into turn one. Shots down low in one and two. Shots with a challenge for the lead, but Madsen has the momentum. Jason sides back up to challenge Paul McMahon for fifth. Shots to the inside of Madsen in three and four, but can't make the move. Joey Saldana, first driver that Kerry Madsen will have to deal with. Madsen rides the cushion through one and two. Donnie Shots glued to the bottom of the racetrack this time. Shots to the middle with three and four. Madsen on the cushion. Shots is right there as they get to traffic. The back straightaway, shots to the inside of Madsen, looking for the lead, Madsen sideways! Shots had to get on the brakes to avoid contact! Kerry Madsen maintains the lead, but the car was ugly in three and four. Shots to the inside and takes the lead! Donnie Shots, your new race leader out of turn two. Here's Madsen back to his inside with another slider. Shots turns it back to the inside. Wheel to wheel for the race lead out of turn four. Donnie Shots leads lap number 14. Madsen back to the inside of Shots, who works the heavy traffic now out of turn two. Shane Stewart, fire, we go, Avru, Stewart up to third, Avru back to challenge him down low into turn three. Avru to the inside of Stewart, slide job now, Stewart back underneath, but we go, Avru third as they cross the line. Stewart with another slide job into one and two, and again, Avru turns it back underneath, this time Stewart has the position. Shane Stewart now up to third in car number two. Shots works the bottom, Madsen and Stewart on the high side through one and two. Slide job by Shane Stewart into three and four to take second away from the Mad Men. Shane Stewart second as they exit the fourth corner. Avery to the inside.
out of Madsen now. Rico Avery into the third spot. He'll get by the American Racing Wheels, number 29. Rico Avery mounting a late charge here. Catch up with Shane Stewart in the race for second. Donnie Schatz pulling away with 10 laps to go. Donnie Schatz, meanwhile, increasing the lead to 1.34 seconds. Schatz now working on the 11K of Greg Kitzer. Kitzer to the bottom in one and two. Donnie Schatz rails the cushion and Schatz drives around the outside of Craig Kitzer entering turn three. Two lap cars now between Donnie Schatz and second place Shane Stewart make it three as Randy Hannigan goes a lap down entering turn one. In turn four, a flat left rear tire on the 11 end of Randy Hannigan. Caution flag will wave. Randy Hannigan losing a left rear in three and four. Set to go back to green. Into turn one, shots on the cushion. Now Avery up to challenge Shane Stewart for second. They'll go side by side out of turn two. Greg Wilson to the inside of Paul McMahon looking for fifth as Donnie Schatz extends the advantage. White flag in the air as Donnie Schatz works out of turn two for the final time. Back stretching into three and four. For the first time in six years, Donnie Schatz will be headed to victory lane at Eldora. Second will go to Shane Stewart. Rico Abreu in third. 